Every week or so, I get what seems to be the same email. But it always comes from a different person. It goes something like this. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Dave, I have this or that problem with this or that police department, or this or that judge, followed by a ten-paragraph explanation of the problem, and what do you think I should do? Whenever they're concerned, they almost never seem to have any video or audio of it. My answer is almost always the same. In fact, I have a template letter that I send back to people who send me this kind of email. I change it up, customize it a little bit, but there's still a template. I ask them to go to our web forums and post their concern on our web forums. You know, nhfree.com, nhliberty.org, one of those web forums. I've received about, you know, 150 emails, kind of like this, and I've sent back this suggestion to all 150 people. The number of people who have taken my advice after asking me for it is zero. As far as I know, none of them have posted any messages to any of these web forums. I, I, I should clarify, I, I usually ask people to post such a message and then send me a link so that I can follow the discussion and maybe participate in it. But I, I, I never hear back from them. They contact me once, and then they disappear. It's like they, 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 they come from out of nowhere. We've never seen them before. They've never helped us before. We've never helped them before. Uh, you know, you can turn this into something more than it has to be if you want to. And then they go back into the woodwork. Why even bother to email me if you're just going to to ignore what I what I what I tell you in response to your request for advice? I'm starting to wonder if I should even respond to emails like this. Oh, and I should make clear: I say that no one has done what I asked them to. I, I don't remember anyone ever ever having actually done what I suggested. At least if they do it, they don't they don't do the they don't do the part where they send me the link. I don't think they do anyway. Maybe someone has done it, and I've just forgotten about it, but it's, it's been a long time. If anyone's ever taken my advice on this, it's been a long time since they've done it. Anyway, the reason for asking folks to do this is, if you're having a conversation just with me, then it's just a conversation with me. But if you put it up on the Internet on, on one of our web forums, you can have a commu communication with technically the whole New Hampshire Liberty community. Not all of them will see your message, but many of them will. 50 or 60 minds are, are better than two. Another reason for trying to get things out into the open is I don't like to deal in emails that might contain secret information or something that people don't want me to pass on. If we just put it up, the part, you know, if, we, if they just post the message to the internet, then we know that all that stuff can be talked about. I don't really want to hear the stuff that's secret. And worst of all, I don't want to be collecting information, getting information from people, and not even knowing which parts are secret secret, which parts are supposed to be kept to myself. Anyway, I guess if all these people who are emailing me are not taking my advice, you're not going to take it either, but I'll give it to you anyway. Come to our web forums, join them, post messages there, get involved with us now before you have a problem. If you wait until you need us to call on us, then you're starting from scratch. By the way, providing me a link would also let me make a written bulletin about their situation. Those are my really thoughts for today. They're the only kind I have. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com.